Let's take a look today how to add images to a Weebly page. I've already created a page called Images. And if we come over to Build, we can start to click and drag our image icon into our page. I'm gonna add two images below here. And notice what happens is it creates an automatic divide between those two. And then I'm gonna to try to add one above and I wanna show you this blue line right here would only put this next image directly above this column. But if I want it to go over the whole thing, I'm gonna to wanna to bring it to the middle until that blue line covers both sides. As you can see, it put one on top and two underneath. You can arrange this however you want to. Another tool I like to use is I like to create a little bit of space between my images. So you can see I created a spacer down here. And you can also use a divider for visually dividing up your images on your page. So let's take a look at uploading one image. I'm gonna use one from my computer. And as it loaded, I can adjust the size really easily right here. And now I can go into options by just clicking on the image. I can edit the image if I wanna edit it. Uh, as a photographer, I like to edit my images elsewhere and then bring it in. But if you need to, you can do some small edits here. You can also replace the image if you don't like this. I would highly suggest clicking on the light box option because that is gonna expand your, your image larger when somebody clicks on your image. You can also link it to another website. You can change the uh, where you want it located within that box. You can change the spacing around the box so you can have margins. You can also caption it. I'm gonna call this South Carolina Beach. You just click the back key. And in the advanced setting, you can add a border to your artwork. Let's try a thick one so you can see it. And I might even try to change the color of the border, something black. And then the alt text, this is the text that comes up if something was wrong with the image or if somebody um, needed help being able to see what the image was. Um, so you could write in here, photograph, or I would say black and white photograph, write it out of a South Carolina Sandy Beach. Okay, and then just click back. You're ready to go ahead and give this a publish. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Once it's published, you can just click on this link. Go to your images page. And that's how it looks. You can see the caption showed up just below it. And if you click on it, because we have the light box, it does expand it away from the rest of the page. I do see the little line, divider line right here. And this is where I would put the extra three images.